Hi everyone, got a really cool one for you today. This is a great time saver that will allow you to um, call up track templates for recording in one click with no uh, right clicking or uh, things like that. With one click, we'll have uh, the tracks we'll need to record our instruments with all of the correct inputs and an armed uh, track ready for recording. First, what we'll be doing is uh, set up four different uh, track templates. One for uh, guitar, one for bass, one for uh, dry vocal, and one for a vocal with reverb and delay sounds. Starting with the guitar, what we'll need here is three tracks. More often than not, uh, when I'm recording at home, I'm uh, using a Kemper profiler. And I also record a DI track. This is in case I need to do some editing or uh, reamping or uh, things like that. Also, I set up the tracks for the Kemper uh, as dual mono tracks. It's quite rare that I record a stereo. And recording a dual mono means I can just get rid of one of the tracks if I don't need any stereo effects. Let's set up the tracks and the inputs. DI to input 1 and the Kemper to input 3 and uh, 4. Save that as a track template. Next up is the bass. That's very simple and it's the same chain as I use for the dry vocal. Input one, done. Now the vocal with the effects is a bit more uh, complicated. We start with the same uh, one track, same input, input one, and we set up sense to a reverb track and a delay track. And you can use any uh, reverb or delay plugins you want. For this, I'm using the Slate uh, World Suite Classics and the D16 uh, repeater. And I just uh, eyeball the sound levels. A really important thing here is you need to have uh, input monitoring on so that you can hear the effects. The challenge here is that I uh, use the um, latency-free monitoring uh, on my uh, interface. So our uh, sense to the reverb and delay need to be set as a pre-fader and I then pull down the volume fader on uh, the vocal track so I don't get uh, double uh, signals in my ear while I'm recording. We now have all our uh, track templates saved. Next thing we'll need to do then is go into our extensions menu and go to the resources. As you probably would have guessed by now, you need to have the SWS extension installed, otherwise this uh, won't work. Open that and you see at the top here, you have a drop down menu and we're going to choose track templates. If you haven't used this before, this will be uh, blank and just right click to add uh, slots and then right click on each uh, slot to load the track templates and then fill in the slots with the four different uh, track templates we already have. Once we've done that, we can just uh, close this uh, window. We can then go to the action list and type in track template. And you'll uh, now see down here, SWS SNM resources import tracks from track template. Slot one through four. Those are the ones we're going to be using. For this, I'm going to set it up as a toolbar uh, buttons. And you can also add a keyboard shortcut to each one of these or uh, map it to a MIDI controller. You'll just need to uh, right click here at customize toolbar, go to add 
and then search again for our track templates and find the actions we talked about uh, just now select all of them and just press select and close in the actions list we then select each one of them and go to icon you can add a toolbar image or in our case we'll just be using regular text icons just type in the text you need and I generally use a double with the toolbar button for uh, things like this and once we've edited uh, the icons for all of these just click save and close we're now ready just clicking one of these buttons will then add our uh, track template to our session one click and you're ready to record and this is amazing uh, for uh, really speeding up your workflow if you're using the same recording chain for uh, the stuff you record you really should be doing this and obviously you can do the same thing there for uh, say if you have um, VST instruments and other track templates that you uh, very often use you can set up a shortcut or a toolbar button to uh, instantly uh, recall them hope that was helpful subscribe if you haven't already Leave comments and questions and uh, all that uh, schnizzle. And I'll see you in the next video.